Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, we're going to do another subscriber request uh, as I usually do. And the question that I received this time is, can you explain how to load reference images in the various views in preparation of a modeling project? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so I have a picture of a Ferrari or a drawing actually, and I'm going to go to my panel view. And I'm going to start off on my front view and go to view image plane and import image. And I'm just simply going to pull in that image. Okay. Now to start with, you can see that it's quite large and it has a side view, a top view, a front view and a back view. Now I don't want it to be that large. So I'm going to hit R to scale it. And keep in mind that if you have an older version of Maya, you can't select it and scale it. You'll have to go into your channel box and you know, um, change the translate values. Okay. So I'm just going to hit W and push it back around here. I don't want it to be sitting in my grid because I need my grid to model. All right. And I can maybe even decide to pull it up a bit. So that's my initial reference. Now I'm going to switch to my uh, side view. So this will be my front view. I'm going to go to my side view, view image plane, import image. I'm going to take the same object right there and again quite large so initially I'm going to hit R to scale it down pull it up and I'm just gonna push it into this image right here and what I'm gonna do is this was my front view this is my side view so I'm gonna pull the side view and push that inside that view to align it so what do I mean by that? This is my front. This is my side view. So these should be roughly in the same position. Okay. Now the top of my roof on this one is a bit higher. So I'm going to move this guy up a little bit until that's aligned. All right. And then down here, we have this section in the front that's a bit lower. So it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, but looking at what we have here the window space the top and the bottom we're very very close okay so until we are actually modeling for now we have roughly a good position and you can adjust them once you started your model and you see that it's not aligned okay so it's our front view and that's our side view next we're going to look at our top view so we're going to go to our top view image plane import image again we're going to take the same Ferrari picture which again will be very large and considering this is our top we need to rotate this so we're going to hit E and we're going to actually let's do that with the snap hold down J all right and we're going to hit R and we're going to scale it down a bit and we want it underneath our grid so we're going to hit W and pull it down. And here we can, again, use kind of the same reference. So what we're going to do is we're going to push it over here. We're going to pull that up. I have to zoom in. Pull that out. And you can see that this side view needs to align with this guy right here. So we're going to pull that up a little. And we're going to have a look and see whether this is aligned looks like we need to move it a little bit okay we're going to push that back down underneath our grid we're going to move it over here okay now we got a good starting point but again once you're actually modeling you will see whether it's aligned or not so before we do that what you want to avoid is that you accidentally select your reference images while you're modeling. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our reference images. Okay. Then we're going to go in our channel box to layers and create layer from selected. Okay. Uh, let's see this. That's this one right here. And we're going to select this box and we're going to click on it until we have an R in there. And once we have that, you can no longer select your images. 
so you can just freely model and you won't have any trouble okay now uh, once you get modeling so let's say we'll just block this out a little bit we'll take a cube and let's say the cube is our car body if you will we're just gonna eyeball this for now let's go to our front view okay so we're gonna hit W we're gonna move that up this is our front view right here I have to zoom in we're gonna just block it in okay And we're not going to model this entire car right now. So I'm just going to turn on my x-ray. Hit W. So we've got the proper height for the car. Looks like we're good there. All right. Then we're going to look at our top view. Now, it needs to move. But in this case, because we aligned it with the front, we're going to move our image. So I'm going to turn off the R. So I can select it. And this needs to align with the top of the car. So we're going to move that up. And we are going to resize it a bit. Right click vertex, drag select and bring that up. And drag select and bring that down. And I'm going to take our image again. Okay, and I'm doing this very roughly, okay? So from a top view, it's aligned. From the front view, it's aligned. Now from the side view, we're gonna take our image and we're gonna move our image up towards our model. We have to zoom in. And we're going to take this guy and we're going to hit R and we're going to start to scale it. I'll turn on my X-ray again and scale it a bit more. And I'm going to take our image, hit W and move it in. Okay. So that said, that means that with this block that we got right here, okay, this is aligned with our front view. It's aligned with our side view and it's aligned with our top view. Now, how can we check that? This is our front view. It's aligned, our top view, and you can zoom in, obviously. And our, hang on, hang on, hang on. Top view is good, front view is good. This should be my side view. My apologies, okay? So, we need to move this down here and take this guy and hit R and push it down like so. So in all views, we now have our top view, front view, side view. And once you get into more detailed modeling, you will see that you need to do some slight adjustments. But that said, we can now select all of our images again. Okay. And we're going to hit R. And now we're ready to go and free to model. Now, sometimes you have one picture per view. So you would have a single reference for the front side and so forth. And sometimes they're not 100% accurate. So you need to play with that. Um, as far as the back view is concerned, what I typically do once I have my front view the way I want it and the side on the top, I replace this image or move it so I got my back view in place and then I model it from that angle. Okay. So hopefully this makes a little bit sense. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'm not saying this is the way, but it's my way. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'd love to see you guys again. Bye.